In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can find your Filipina soulmate using the Philippines' number one dating site. So this video is clearly for those who are serious in finding a good Filipina. In a moment, I'll take you inside the site and show you some awesome features which will allow you to target the exact Filipina that you're looking for. It really will take a lot of guesswork out of the equation and not to mention great frustration. Now, remember, guys, no dating site is ever free from love scammers. But this one, I've had more than 100 guys over the past 18 months raving to me about just how good it really is. After the video, you can check out the site yourself for free by clicking the link in the pinned comment below. I am and have been an affiliate member of this site for the past 18 months and truly believe this site stands head and shoulders above many others. Just a heads up, the site is free to create an account, as I said, and view thousands of Filipina profiles. If you decide that you want to interact with the Filipinas, you'll need to upgrade to a paid account, which will go through all the prices and payment options shortly. But be sure to stay with me here as I go through the awesome features that will make finding your Filipina a much smoother process. So guys, once you've created your free account, you'll come in at this page here. Up the top, you'll notice your dashboard. And if you go across, you'll also notice your search facility function. Now, if you click on that, it gives you so many different searches from basic searches to advanced searches to user ID searches right down to women who are online now and so on. So if you want to check out who's online right at this minute, you just click on the Women Online Now button and it will open up that page and there it is. So you've got 10 pages of women who are currently online. Now, as I've said in previous videos, just because they're online doesn't make them legitimate, doesn't make them honest and decent. You've got to find that out. And we'll go through some search functions in a moment that are really cool on this site to help you find a Filipina more to your suitabilities. So where I'd recommend you start when you're looking for a Filipina is that you first know what type of Filipina you really want to be looking for. So really think about that before you even jump on to find one. So if you go into the search function again, I'd be using the advanced search. Now this advanced search has got so many different options. This is how you can find a Filipina that's more suited to you. So at the top here, we go, yes, you're looking for a woman. So if you're looking for a woman, say, from 29 to, say, let's say 56, for example. It can be any age you like, but for the purposes of this, we'll say 29 to 56. And here, this is a really important one. You want to click single. You want to click widowed. And you want to click communicating with one person, annulled. Now, the reason you want to click those is because, as we know, in the Philippines, when people get married, they generally can't get divorced unless maybe they were uh, married in a different country and somehow it got divorced there and it wasn't registered in the Philippines. So by clicking single, widowed, annulled is going to protect you and find a, a woman who's available to marry and so you don't go through all the problems around the adultery laws and things like that in the Philippines, as well as communicating with one person only. Now, of course, it, anyone can tell you that they're communicating with one person only, but in time, you'll certainly find out if that's the case or not. So then we come down the list a bit more. If you want to put in particular religions for the Filipina, then you can do that there as well. If you want to check the list there of whether she's got children or not, you can check whatever box you like, as well as if she wants children in the future. Now, as we come down more, you can even put in, you know, weight factors, height, and verified only, which I'll come back to shortly. The verified is a, a, a very good option as well. But as I say, we'll come back to that one. Now, down here, you might want to click on photo only. Well, I certainly would if I was in the market for a Filipina at the moment, which I'm not happily married, of course. But if I was, I'd be wanting only the ones who have photos. And you can select here who has joined as a member. So it says in the last two months, last month, 
two weeks, etc., etc. So you can put whatever you like there. I would uh, tend to say in the last month, because some Filipinas may have joined up, you know, six months ago and never haven't been online since. They might have found a guy, and you could be just wasting your time there. So now I do hear some guys say that you can't find a Filipina who's educated who would be interested in being with a foreign guy. Well, I'm here to prove that prove those guys wrong. So if you wanted to click on you know, what you should have, you should have a bachelor's degree, you can do that. And now you've got everything in there of the type of woman you're searching for. So we click search, and here we are. We have a list of 25 pages, so a total of 447 women that have signed up in the last month. Some, as you can see, are online right now because the little green light is flashing right there. And these women should all have a bachelor's degree. So that would mean that most of them would be very good in English because when they're in university, they predominantly speak English through there and they come out the other side quite good and fluent in English. So, for example, if we wanted to click on this first one here, Katie, she says she's 40. She's looking for a, uh, her ideal partner is between 40 and 80. So if we click on, the, on her, we'll see there. She gives us a little bit about herself. Now, this here, in my opinion, guys, is very important, how they write in here and what they write. Because you see some Filipinas, they hardly put anything in there, and that tells me that they're not confident in English and they're not really trying to give you much information about themselves, which might be a tough ask to get out of them as you go along in a relationship. So this one here is saying I'm mixed home body and outgoing. When I'm at home, I love baking, cooking for my family. On the other hand, I'm a nature lover, etc., etc. You can read that for yourself. And, and she, she does have quite good sentences and grammar. So it tells me she's most likely going to be able to communicate quite well with you. And as we scroll down, it's got three pictures of herself, which we can have a look at. And that just gives us a little bit of idea when you see a few pictures of what she really is, is like, and she's not trying to just give you the very best picture of herself. Down here in additional information, it says she is sing single and she has a bachelor's degree and a few other things there that might be of interest to you. We can go back and have a look at a few others. And we scroll down until you see one that might take your fancy in the age range that you've, you've, you've quoted, which are all these women. And we might say, well, we'll have a look at Victoria. She's 34. She, she's after a man 35 to 70 years of age. And, again, he's a very well-written bio on herself or a bit of information about herself, uh, telling you that she's very active, easygoing, open-minded. I'm sure I would look at our life positively and we always have some goals to reach. I'm a successful lady in my job, but I also want to be successful in my family. You can tell a lot by what she's saying here. You can really tell a lot. And she goes on and tells you a bit more about herself, which is very good that she's being quite open there. So, uh, And, again, her English seems to be quite good and her grammar is very good. And that indicates, yes, she's, she's been through probably university and she's got a bachelor's degree. And, of course, very importantly, she's single. She... She has no children, but she would like to have children. So there's something to look at there, right there, guys, as well. You can go through many of the profiles as you like, but you can't actually interact with them until you upgrade your account. And just to give you an idea of what it costs to upgrade, it'll tell you right here, for a paid gold package account, which is a three-month membership, you can pay three payments of $97, or you can do a one-off payment of $247 that will save you $44. If you go to the Platinum package, you could do eight payments of $99, which will cost you in total $792. Or you can do a one-off payment of $597, which will save you $195. And that gives you one-year membership. And then we move along to the ultimate package. Now, this one is a lifetime membership. You don't need to come back and pay anything else. 
for the rest of your life. Now, with that, it's eight monthly payments of $197 with a total of $1,576. Or you can do a one-off payment for $997, and that'll save you a whopping $579. And it'll give you a list here of the, of the different uh, packages that you get. So with the Platinum Package, which is the, the one-year membership, you've got live video chat with members so you can talk live on their site to these girls and i do recommend staying on their site when you chat to these girls don't let them draw you away well especially in the first month or so that could indicate they're trying to possibly scam you not always sometimes they just like to chat elsewhere but in the early days definitely stay chatting to them on the christian filipina site you can send a hundred custom messages per day which is plenty of messages. It, you can exchange contact details, 60-minute consultation with your romance consultant. Now, that's that's not a bad op option there. It says our romance consultants are experts in online dating and Filipino culture. Let one of them help you prepare your profile, approach your perfect Filipina, and build a long-lasting relationship with her. So that will give you some good information once you've found a Filipina that you want to run things by them and they'll give you some good advice around that you get a 15 minute call with the founder peter christopher now our founder and owner peter christopher has been interviewed by bbc for honest dating practices and is recognized for his work and as i say a lot of guys on this channel have raved about this site you get a second opinion consultation about one member so if you want a second opinion, if you're not sure if this Filipino you've been talking to for a month or two months is, you know, really legit, then you can have a chat to them and they can give you a good idea around that. So enjoy up to 50% discount with 60 plus ever growing list of fabulous resorts, hotels, fantastic restaurants and pubs, tour guides, photographers and many more all across the Philippines. And you can send unlimited winks per day. So that's the platinum or the middle package there. Not, not a bad deal, I believe, For you get a year. Now, a year, you should have, have plenty of time there to find a decent and good and genuine Filipina. So that's the upgrade packages. Now, if we go back to the searches, so if we go back to the advanced search, the one I want to show you is the verified only. So if you click on the verified only button, You've still got in, there, you got in there, so you put in your age that you want, say from 27 up to whatever the age is that you're looking for, and you still want the single ones or the widowed ones, uh, communicating one person or annulled. So what you want to do there is now this verified button will include all the female members that have been verified by Christian Filipina. Now, the point with this is a lot of scammers are not going to go through this process to become verified because it is rather in-depth. They've got to get letters from their church saying that they've attended the church for so long and, and the priest there knows who this person is and confirms that they are actually this person of good character, etc., etc. They use their photo IDs. Now, I know that things can be forged, etc. But the chances here by going through the verified members is going to play in your favour for sure. It takes out a lot of that guesswork around the possibility of a being a scammer. And even if you're not sure, you can check the link in our pinned comment below to Love Guardians, who they can do some cyber security checks if you're not 100% sure. But hopefully by using this tab, you won't need to do that. So we then just hit the search button and here we come up with 39 members. Now, I know 39 doesn't sound a lot, but that's in your age range. If you want to expand that age range, you're going to find a few more. I think you're likely to find no more than 100. You know, the chances of these verified members of being genuine are going to be far higher than not. But there's still plenty of good, genuine Filipinas out there who don't get verified simply because it's a bit of a hassle. So, again, if you wanted to view a profile here of one of these women, 
You can see there she's put in about herself. Now her English looks quite good. And we scroll down. She also has an associate degree. And she's a single woman. And she has child or children at home and would like more. So you can go through all those yourself. But that using that verified tab is certainly a good thing to be using on this site. So that's the place you really want to start is by using the verified tab. And that'll get, get you off to a great start. If you find there's no women in the verified section that, that you find you're suited to, then, of course, you go back and you do the whole search again, unclick the verified, and then go with what you did before and continue your search with many thousands of Filipinas. As I say, 26,708 Filipinas there. And another, another good feature with this site is if you come down to the bottom here, you'll see the different, as I say, testimonials, but they've also got frequently asked questions. And over here, they've got uh, research and advice. So I give you some advice and, around different things. So courting a Filipina, for example, they'll give you some ideas around that. For our Aussie guys, there's some Australian visa guidance. Uh, the top five most delicious Filipino foods that anyone can eat. T tourist visa extension in the Philippines. And the list goes on. There's plenty there. So there's a whole heap of helpful information on this site as well, which is very important. So as I say, the link is in the pinned comment and description below. So why not go and check it out? As I say, it's free to create an account. And then if you decide you see a woman that you like in there that you think you'd like to contact, you can always upgrade. So for you guys that are looking for a Filipina, I hope this has been of some interest to you and some help. And I wish you all the best into the future in finding your future Filipina soulmate. And of course, if you need any help or assistance after you've got a paid membership, you can always contact me directly. And I'm always happy to converse with you via email or through my Facebook group where we can actually do some live chats. So I'm certainly here to help support you in order for you to find a good Filipina. And if you're looking for more information and tips around dating a Filipina, then be sure to check out the playlist on screen now. And I'll see you in the next video.